You know, when a student is sick, injured, or just in need of care, the first person they usually see is the school nurse. And school nurses say the days of scraped knees has turned into feeding tubes, even administering insulin. And now they're asking for better pay. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs spoke with one nurse who's taking this fight to the Capitol. I joined school nursing about 15 years ago. Um, at first because it was conveniently fell in my lap. Danielle Kreminger says being a school nurse is definitely a labor of love. I loved my nurses and loved what I was doing. I love serving the children of Montgomery County. She recently stepped away from her role as the school nurse supervisor. This is the school nurses uh, go to. We need to know if their heart rate is what it should be. For the district to use her talents to administer a different kind of aid. For instance, the district I came from, they pay their LPNs 18 change an hour and their RNs 20 change an hour. They have to work a night job or do home health after they get out of school. Kriminger says some school nurses like LPNs are bringing home less than 30,000 a year despite their years of experience. I have a lot of nurses work a second job, have to work in the summer. Depending on the district that they're in, they may not get paid at all during the summertime, so they go three months without payment. The motion reconsidered is tabled. Call up the next bill, Mr. Clark. A bill in the state general assembly would allow the districts to pay nurses on the same level as other certified staff like teachers. Our days of boo-boo nursing, you know, band-aids and ice packs that people thought school nursing were, are gone. Kriminger says the workload has increased. I'll be there for you is what our motto is, you know, we're there for these kids. And so should the pay. Our nurses are out there daily. They're doing tube feedings, tracheostomy care, ostomy care, catheterizations, diabetic management, sitting in on IEP meetings. The opposition to the change, Kriminger says, is coming from the school districts because they will have to come up with the money for a pay increase. I feel like if each district put the child first, which I think is everybody's responsibility, they would realize that providing quality nurses for their students is the best thing to do for them. Kelsey Gibbs. They can't learn if they're not healthy. News Channel 5. Many school nurses are choosing to go back to work in healthcare facilities where they are being offered a lot more pay.